I was meeting with a group of veterans in Maine, and one of the veterans said, you know, I think if they checked by occupation, they'd find anomalies in terms of suicides according to what the occupation in the military is. I thought that was a good idea. Senator Angus King sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Last year, he added an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act to require the Department of Defense to conduct a study breaking down service members who committed suicide by their military occupational specialty. That report was released to the public this week. And the whole idea is to see if there are concentrated areas where suicides are occurring so that the Defense Department can then uh, put resources where it's most needed. The report showed that occupations that are typically around explosions and blast pressure, such as explosive ordnance disposal, infantry, diving, and combat engineering, makes up the majority of suicides in the military. Senator King says this data correlates to another report he recently asked for surrounding traumatic brain injury. We received other data just in the last several weeks about what they call blast overpressure, uh, which indicates that a, a rep being exposed to a repetitive explosion uh, does brain damage. And in fact, uh, the fellow that did the killing in Lewiston, we found out later that he had significant brain damage and he had been exposed for years and years and years to uh, exploding ordnance, uh, which pretty clearly caused that brain damage. So uh, I think there's a relationship between the suicide report and also the reports we have about what they call traumatic brain injury. Senator King says having this data is one thing, but now it's time for action. I think what it tells the military is you got to deal with this. And in fact, I had a call last week with a senior official at the Pentagon saying, OK, we've seen the reports. Now do something. In Augusta, I'm Corey Bouchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.